pretty good. Um, it's a fun time being from Belfast at the minute uh, because uh, we're back in the news again. Way. Uh, a lot of people have a lot of follow-up questions, particularly people my age. They don't really know us. They're like born in the early nineties. We don't make a lot of sense, uh, and it's really fun as an Irish person, uh, particularly from the north, to um, lie. Uh, so people like to talk about uh, the DUP, and they'll say, "Oh wow, DUP seem kind of seem kind of crazy. DUP seem kind of crazy." Well, yeah, yeah, the DUP, they're crazy. Can you believe they refused to legalize fingering? <laughs> what a world! <laughs> what a world! I've never got clicks for a joke. That is incredible. I'm so I didn't pleased. Know what else to do. Oh, oh my god, god, I love it. Um, uh, yes, uh, but I, I recently moved. I moved to, to Birmingham, um, uh, which is really fun. It's a lot, a lot of people with Irish connections, first gen, second gen. And I'll be talking to someone and they'll start going, oh my God, oh, you really remind me of my granny. I go, oh, was she Irish? And they go, no. <laughs> Actually, one time I was uh, flirting with a dude in the old. <laughs> um, and he said, oh, wow, you really remind me of my granny O'Toole. I said, great. Was she also trying to fuck or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm DTF. <laughs> Down to fucking talk about your grandmother. Wow. <laughs> um, I moved for work. I uh, I work. I worked in TV. I don't like to talk about where specifically I work. Let's just say it's a British Broadcasting Corporation. <laughs> <laughs> Could be anywhere. We literally don't know. Um, um, I work on Doctors, which you might remember from the last time you were um, off sick from work um, or unemployed. Uh, if you don't know what Doctors is, imagine ER, but with a budget that's like a crumpled up tissue paper and a whoosh. Uh, and uh, people get it confused a lot with Doctor Who. Um, they don't, but for the sake of the joke, let's say they do. Uh, and the way I was like, hey, okay, so Doctor Who Doctor Who, very easy to tell. One is a science fiction fantasy adventure series where anything can happen, like seeing your GP twice in one day. <laughs> and the other is Doctor Who. Ah, <laughs> the old switcheroo. Uh, another fun thing about me. Uh, so yeah, so I, I joined. Uh, I came to Birmingham, um, and I was like, I'm gonna join things. I'm gonna make friends. I'm gonna go out there and make some friends. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I started joining things. <laughs> like queues, um, <laughs> large groups of people in pubs. Um, just if I stand on the outskirts of the group and laugh at the same time they're laughing, they'll all think that someone else brought me. <laughs> <laughs> Classic Michael. <laughs> um, uh, fun thing about me, uh, I said I'm, I'm, my hobbies are anxiety and acid reflux. <laughs> uh, it's real fun, real fun time. Anxiety, we all have it to a certain extent. It's an old caveman instinct. In caveman times, it used to protect us from saber-toothed tigers. Now it just protects us from people that we don't know that well at parties. <laughs> um, I'm single at the moment. I say at the moment. It's been six years. Uh, it's been medically termed too fucking long. <laughs> uh, I'm so single. I had a sex dream about masturbating. <laughs> it's uh, it's real hard to brush your teeth when you can't make eye contact with yourself. <laughs> I just see you as a friend. Um, a lot of things sort of sound good when you've been single for a while, like a convent and scissoring <laughs> although unfortunately uh, if you do scissoring with a partner with a uh, pair of testicles it's less of a scissor and more of a garlic press a joke which I consistently enjoy more than any audience I ever do in front of and yet I keep doing it because it's for me you guys it's for me um, I was trying to figure out why I'm single um, I've kind of I figured out uh, I think and I've written a little song about it some of you might know the words it goes like this Catholic sex education. <laughs> I'm still trying to unpick the damage done. Ow! Anyone? Anyone know the words to that one? <laughs> um, it's hard when you're not told a lot about sex. You're not kind of fumbling through, making a lot of mistakes. Um, when I was in school, like 13, 14, whatever age makes the story plausible. And I, um, and this girl came up to me and she said, "Oh my God, Mary!" I said, "Oh wow. Did you hear about Laura?" She gave a blowjob to a guy in the back of a cinema. And I said, oh, no? Bad for, good for, bad for her. <laughs> did she s sneak it in her handbag or, or how long did she employ it? <laughs> Mary, do you not know what a blowjob is? Yeah. <laughs> not as wrong as I could have been. And she said, 
Mary, it's fine if you don't know what it is. It's something slutty girls do. And I knew I didn't want to be a slutty girl. So I said, no, nah, I don't know what a blowjob is. And she said, ha, virgin. And I thought there's got to be more than two options. <laughs> I was at that point that I became a feminist. Because I knew in a community of sex positive, body positive, supportive, loving women, I could find someone, someone who would tell me what a blowjob is. <laughs> uh, still waiting. So, you know. <laughs> Uh, how long have I got left, by the way? Oh, that's right. Anyway, just to say, thank you so much for your time. This has been lovely. I'm Mary Flanagan. Uh, I'm on at 2.25. I'll be giving out flyers at the end. Thank you.